Good morning everybody, welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing video. We are gonna go hit up some more backwoods creeks, some of these hidden little spots, and try to do some fishing. This is just that time of year, it's like 32 degrees this morning. I'm trying not to fall off the boat because there's ice all over it. But I have plenty of artificials tied up, I have some jerk baits tied up, got some trout tricks tied up, so we're gonna go and test our luck today. So how about y'all sit back, relax, come join me, and let's get into some fishing. So beautiful this morning. Man, it's definitely cold though. <laughs> straight up beautiful out this morning listen to all the birds <laughs> they're waking up this morning but I think I'm gonna start out it's really cold but I really want to catch one on the jerk bait so I'm gonna start out by throwing the jerk bait this morning see if we can get one so I usually do really well this time of year on working jerk baits really fast it seems to trigger their reaction strike so let's go ahead and cast out and see what we can get. Now my setup today is 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, a 3000 Shimano Vanford, and a seven foot St. Croix Avid Inshore rod. And we have 53 degree water temp and we're fishing in about four to eight feet of water, just depending on what part of the creek we're in. Let's see if we can catch us some fish. I'm almost about to fall off the boat. There's a layer of ice on the boat, it's slippery. <laughs> I love jerkbait fishing this time of year. But let's just, take in the beauty this morning and just do some fishing. Oh, first one this morning. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Come on now. First one on the jerk bait. Oh, get up here. Get up here. Oh man, I said it was a good one, but I don't know. He's really skinny. Really skinny fish. Alright, first one this morning. We're gonna let this fish go. He's a little too small. Alright, buddy. He liked the jerk bait though, didn't he? And there he goes, back down to the bottom. There's one, right at the boat, right at the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, calm down a little bit, calm down. Beautiful fish. Come on, calm down a little bit. I wanna get a jerk baits in my hand. He's gonna be short again. Not a bad fish, but just a little short. So I wanna handle these fish as least as possible, get these treble hooks out of them. All right, buddy. Thank you. And there he goes, back down. <laughs> it's the second one of the morning on the jerk bait. So I'm keeping fish. It's just these are just, I can already tell they're a little too short. So let's try that again. All right. Jerk bait fishing is fun. It's just pure reaction strike. Oh my golly! <laughs> I hope that caught on camera. Did y'all see? Oh dang! Dad gum! I should have set the hook. I just it just ripped it out of my hand. Yeah, the camera was rolling. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear the. Oh, now I'm hung up in a tree. I don't know if y'all can hear the disappointment in my voice on that one. That was a good fish. Ah, now I'm stuck in a tree, man. Okay. When it rains, it pours on that one. I should have set the hook. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That was a good fish, too. Let's see if we can get redemption here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh. That's a really nice trout. Come on. Come on. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. <laughs> Shoot, and there we go. The bait just came out. That's the best one of the trip right there. That's gonna go in the box. What an awesome fish. Look at his eye though. That's so weird. So he has one full pupil on that side. And this other one, it's like his pupil is not there. Or it's just really tiny. Not blind enough to eat my Z-Man minnows though. I switched to the new penny minnows on a 3 16 ounce jig head and just slow rolling it. And this joker just thumped it. So what a beautiful fish. Let's get a picture and throw them in the box. All right, right at that 18 inch mark. So perfect fish. Let's throw them in the cooler on ice. Got a nice ice bath going. Whew. Some water, some ice. Should be really good. There he goes. Okay. So while I'm putting some more pro cure on my paddle tail here, you know, I started out with the jerk bait this morning and it was still pretty low light, so I couldn't tell the water clarity, but after all this rain, this creek is pretty dirty. So I switched to a color that I love using in stained water, and that's that new penny color. And then I'm throwing in a little bit heavier jig head so I can reel it slow and it's just thumping the bottom because that's where most of these trout are going to be sitting in this 30 degree weather and 50 degree water temp. But I uh, added some mullet pro cure on there and let's get another cast out. All right. That was a good fish though. Mm. Get another cast out and do some more fishing here. First one of the day. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a trout. Speckled trout, all right, sweet. Check out that beautiful speckled trout though. So on that Z-Man minnows, let's go ahead and toss it back. It's gonna be too short. There you go, buddy. And he's back down on the bottom, barely kept him out of the water. All right, I've switched over to a Z-Man trout trick. You know, I wanna be keeping my bait near the bottom or at least as close to the bottom as possible. So this trout trick allows me to jig in one spot, trying to cover that water pretty thoroughly, especially when the water temp's this low. Oh, oh, right at the boat. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Man, what a nice fish. And that's in the trout sickle color. It's that custom color, the uh, Flax Class TV, if you ever watch it. That's one of the few colors that they came out with. So it's just purple and silver, but this speckled trout fell for it. Thought it was a mullet. This one right here is gonna go in the cooler full of ice. What a beautiful fish. That is awesome. It's gonna taste so good. Just get a quick measurement. I know it's legal, but just wanna, just to show you. So this is just a rough measurement here. It's almost an 18 inch fish, but what a beautiful fish. In Alabama, they just have to be 15. So this one's gonna go in the cooler. Man, I've been throwing jerk baits, been throwing paddle tails. I got that small one on the paddle tail, but I don't get paid to say this. I'm not sponsored by Z-Man. But when you can't get a bite on anything else, I'll switch to a trout trick and just jig it. And man, it seems to get the job done. So I'm gonna put some more pro cure on here, cast back out in the same little bend and see if we can get us another one. Right, let's see if we can do that again here. Oh, fun fight right there. Aggressive fish right at the boat. You gotta love it. But all I'm doing with these trout tricks, you can do the same thing with a fluke or slick lure. I'm just jigging it in place. Reeling in my slack, give it a hop reeling my slack. These trout are holding right down to the bottom. So this is a five inch bait. And a lot of times this time of year, these fish don't want to feed on a bunch of stuff. They want to eat one good meal so they don't have to burn a lot of energy or calories to get that meal because the water's so cold, their metabolism slows down. So I'm just jigging this off the bottom and it's a little bit bigger bait. And you saw that we got a keeper fish. So let's try to repeat that process here. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Oh, that's a red fish. That's a red fish. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Let's see, flush with the zero. He is like quarter inch too short. So I'm gonna throw him back. 
What a beautiful fish though. All right, this one is his lucky day, so he has to go back just, just too short. There he goes. He's going back down to the bottom. Dreadfish in Alabama have to be 16 inches. He's like 15 and a half. He didn't get to take a chilly ride home back with me. He went back to his chilly home down in the uh, water because it's pretty cold right now. But it seems like I found the right combination for these fish. That trout sickle trout trick, that's a mouthful. And then that jig head there. So. There's a fish. Oh yeah. Oh, nice redfish. Nice redfish. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Get in the boat. Oh, oh, and he's in the boat. I got lucky on that one. I shouldn't have shouldn't have boat flipped him, but hey. Alright, just got this beautiful redfish on that little slam shady there. So it's just under 16 inches, which is the minimum slot limit here in Alabama. So I gotta toss it back. But that is a beautiful redfish. I probably should I shouldn't have boat flipped him, but I did anyway and got him in the boat. So time to let him go and let him grow. All right, buddy. Ready? Oh, he's gone. Ooh, that water's cold. That was a beautiful fish though. That is awesome. All right, y'all, I am back home. I appreciate y'all for watching as always. I also want to thank Sword Fishing for being the sponsor of the channel and of this video. So appreciate them. If you want to pick up a nice fillet knife like I use, I'll link it down in the description below. But I will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.